Oh, hi everyone. Thanks for joining me today. And um, today we are doing all about that DSP, the perennial essence in particular. This is episode number nine, uh, which airs on the 13th of November. So, perfect choice for cardstock to coordinate with this is the petal pink. Okay, now there's a whole array of coordinating colours in here from Blackberry Bliss to uh, Mango Melody, I think that is. We've got um, pale pink, we've got white, we've got mossy meadow, the list goes on. So what I've got here is a petal pink card base. Now this card had a little mark in it, but I'm not worried about that because I'm actually going to layer it up with some DSP. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a sheet of my Stamparatus grid paper. I always seem to um, hoard things like this because I don't like to get them dirty. But what's the point in having it if you're not going to use it? Right, now. Right, let's go. So... If I pop that there, this is just for measurement purposes. So this is oh that works in the way. Oh, never noticed that. So I'm taking it from the top. So this is um five and seven eighths by um four and one eighth. Okay. The first layer is one, two, three and Three and um, what is that? Three and three quarters, three and three quarters by I think this is five and three eighths. Yep, by five and three eighths. Okay, so that'll go in there. Then we have a matte layer for in the centre of the card and this is three by um three by oh excuse me three by four and three quarters and we have a DSP layer which is two and a half by four and two eighths and then we have a final piece I had taken from a little scrap piece. Um, this has a lovely petal pink background, so I'm going to use that to stamp on. This is, let me measure, this is two by, let me see now, can't, I can't read that right. Two by, what did I write down? It was to be. Two by four, roughly. Two by four. Okay, so I'm writing that off to the side, just so that, that I remember. Now, I need my uh, coordinating stamp set. Now, I do not have the coordinating punch for this set. I do have the leaf punch, however. So I might incorporate that into the card. Okay, but I really, really do like these gorgeous sentiments on here. Really do. Really, really, really do. Now, once this is all layered up, I'm just doing this card really to show off the, the beautiful DSP that we use here at Stampin' Up! and that you can use too if, um, if you order via my online shop. So, this is going to go in there and I'm going to stamp on that. What I do not know. Now, all my stamps have fell. This set is that well used um, that it's moved about so much in here. Okay. But I'm trying to decide what image I would like. Now, I think I'll go for one of the smaller images, okay? Um, with a beautiful sentiment up here. Okay. Now, there's lots of gorgeous sentiments in this set. Let me just stick them all back down where they should be. I love this one because it says all 
Um, days are beautiful that begin with you. There's uh, this one as well. With friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. We've got have a bl wishing you a, a blissful future. So it's quite a versatile set. We have this little center piece that goes in here. Um, however, I also have, or is it this one? No, that's the wrong one. This one here goes with that. I also have some um, pre-fussy cut images. Now, if I just pop all that to the side a second, you can tell I've used a lot of red and pink inks with this. <laughs> I like to fussy cut when I first get a um, a new set of DSP papers and a coordinating card or vellum or what have you that comes with it. So I've got a whole array of things here, excuse the rustling, that I would like to um, possibly use up. Now, you can see we have a little banner section here. This is too bold for this project, so I'm just going to pop all them to the side. I do have some vellum stamped pieces. So if I pop them to the side and I am just going to um, have a little rummage and see what I can um, pick out. How beautiful is that? Now that's the, um, the stamp that I want to use. But this is in Blackberry Bliss. I think I'll use that. I think I've just answered my own question as to Roxy, leave. Um, oh, as to what sentiment and flowers I'm going to use. We do have these lovely embellishments, but these are meant for the larger stamp. Okay, so I do like a good play, and I haven't played with this set in so long. It's really as bad. Right, now I have a couple of fussy cut stamped um, Blackberry Bliss leaf images there. I have another floral piece here. And I think I may either put this horizontally or portrait. I think it would be nice this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slide these off and I'm going to um, build the card with all these layers. Now, if I clear the way a little bit, because I don't want you being put off by all the rubbish lying around. Okay, now my desk is clear to the side. Okay, so let's get gluing. Now, if I put my light down slightly, I should get a better light for this project today. Right, now, grab my chair because I'm actually standing up. My back's quite sore. Who likes my big ruler? 18-inch ruler. Pinch that from my work for a little shot. Been lying in a cupboard the four years that I've been here. I thought, oh, well, just pinch a little shot of that. Right, okay, let's get this down. Ooh, I do like, I do like that as well. But today... I am going to show off the beautiful floral sides. Now that glue is slightly dry. Oh, now my pups. Can you hear my pup um, groaning? My husband had them out over the field earlier on and um, they're absolutely shattered. And the little one always groans. She moans and groans when she's um, going to sleep. Right now, I need a little tiny bit of glue on here because that's tucking up slightly. Okay, do you like that? Just making sure it's still in shot here. Let me adjust the lighting. There we go. Now for this one. Now, I think what I may do is I may ruffle the edges of this just to give it a little bit more character. So if I get my snips out, my lovely snips. So I'm just running my scissors along them. Love it. I do like it. 
Now you can add some rips in here and there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to really, really give it a good old burnish to make it look old. I'm just using my nails. Not that I have any nails. Okay, I do like that. That'll do me. Now the tricky bit is actually gluing on <laughs> a further piece of DSB. Maybe should have stuck that down first. I need to stand up for this one. So I'm going to pop that down. And this is also good if your measurements are slightly out. Um, because you're not going to notice because this is all ruffled, you see. Okay, now I'm going to raise this up. So let's put this card to the side now. And let's work on this um, stamping layer. Now I'm going to stamp a sentiment on here. I'm going to ruffle that up as well. Um, just for a little change. So I need some... I'm thinking Blackberry Bliss for sure. Um, because it, it just goes really well with this set. Now, I did have Blackberry Bliss out earlier. And I don't know where it is. I found it, I found it, I forgot it's in the purple pile, not with the reds. Here we go. So, just put my glasses on. I know I've told you before, but this was my very first stamping up, stamping pad. Over a year ago, and it's still juicy as ever. Right, okay, so, sentiments, let's get some blocks. Right, now, if I, I'm going to make this a portrait card, I think I'll get more sentiments on my um, little DSP there, okay? So, I'm going to do this one to the left. Now, I'm just going to breathe on it a little bit, just to make sure it's sticking, because I do need to clean these um, ever so slightly. So, all days are beautiful that begin with you. Why, thank you. And just look at that. Really, really good crisp uh, font there. So, I'll clean that stamp. I'm just going to pop them away as I go. Um, the next sentiment I'm going to do is... With friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. Now this doesn't necessarily need to be for birthday. Um, it could be just a motivational I'm thinking of you type card. Okay. So I'm going to pop this wee guy down here. Ta-da! I do like that. I'll give you a little close-up in a wee second. Are you getting comfy, Roxy? <laughs> Bless them, they're absolutely shattered. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? So now it's time to play with my fussy cut vellum. You know, see if that was to go there. I think I'm going to rough this up as well. What the hang? Sometimes clean and crisp doesn't do it for me, so let's just wonky this up. You could actually ink around the edges as well if you wish. But I'm just wanting to make it look really warm. I do like that. I do like that. Now I'm going to dip it in my pad a little bit. And then I'm going to ruffle, ruffle the edges again. You don't get comfy, Roxy. One's sleeping and one's fidgeting, they're my German Shepherd. And Mama German Shepherd was a little monkey and went in the burn when they were down the bottom of the field. So she had to get a hosing down um, before I could dry her. And even then, the muck that was coming off her. So she's going to need a proper bath shortly. She's not too smelly though. Right, okay, so... Um. Let me just glue this section down. I'm just putting it in the centre because I know the centre is flush. It's nice and flat, rather. 
whereas the edges are a bit beveled. So I'm just going to set that on there for a wee second. Do, 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 do. Right, now I've got some blackberry bliss on my desk. I need to get that off. You know what our deep colours are like, it goes everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to have a little play and see for placement of these um, vellum pieces. You could do it reverse, so it's a lighter colour. Or you could just do like such. Now, what I'm going to add to these is um, I'm going to stamp. Uh, let me see, I think I'll stamp with the... Oh, what will I start with? Let me check the, the coordinating colour. That is so saffron and crushed curry. I was thinking so saffron, I was honest. So let's pop that out of the way of the ink. And we're going to add a centre colour using the little... Um, Certain piece that I showed you there, this little one that fits in perfect. Now we need a tiny mini little block. Okay, so I'm just going to add that on there. Press and hold it for a wee second. Oh, see, that's much better. Just a little extra pop of colour. I do like that. Fabulous. Fabulous. Now. I'm making, uh, well, the whole point of doing this series is because um, I like to file away my DSP and then often I actually um, forget about it. So this is, in fact, a challenge to myself to get the DSP out more often um, and have a play more often um, instead of just stamp, stamp, stamping. Now, I think this needs... Some so saffron on it somewhere. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stamp um, parent leaves here for this bit. Mm, should I? Should I? Should I? I don't know. I don't think I will. I'm too scared. <laughs> too scared. Right, dimensions, where are you? Right, let's get this. Oh, and how are we for time? 17 minutes. Oh, I really must stop talking. I do apologise. Better talking too much than not enough, right? Better saying too much than nothing at all, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. I really, 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 really want a new craft room. <laughs> Dear Santa... Please buy me half of Ikea's furniture, please. Yours, Trisha. Right, now. I'm thinking. Do I need some ribbon on this? No. Right, I'm going to pop that as centre as I can. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that there. I'm going to play around and see if these Blackberry Bliss punched leaves are too much in that colour. <gasps> no, I do like that. I do like it. Right, let's get these glued down. Now you need to be careful with vellum because as you know it's a slippery air type of paper and um, it's thinner and I'm just going to use a scrap piece of something to push it down. Um, it takes a little bit longer to dry. I'm going to use this little scrap piece to push it down. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's see if I do another one. Maybe I don't need anything in this um, lower left corner. I think I'll just concentrate on filling this section here. Right, what other colours do I have? See, sometimes you can put too much on a card. I do like that though. I do like it. Let's see what else we have. You see I have a little butterfly cut out with the dual punch. I think I'll add a little butterfly down there possibly. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Right, hang on. Here's some mossy meadow. Um, here's a mossy meadow leaf. Let's see how that looks. It's 
maybe too much. Or maybe I should change the actual flower that's on the top. Let me see what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? Oh, I forgot I actually have two vellum punched, well, fussy cut ones. Let's see how that would look. Oh, guys, what do you think? I wish you could shout out to me to help me. I wish you could shout out and help. Right, I'm concentrating now. So if I pop that there, God, my hands aren't working. Like so. Come on, focus. What's going on? I think I'm confusing my camera. There we go. Come on, keep focused. That's it. I'm moving about too much. Uh, right, no, I'm not liking that. How about pink? Nope, too big. Not liking that. Let's see, what about, aha, uh -huh. no, that's one I've already said I don't like. You know what, I'm going to go with the, the one that I um, decided on to start with. Right, so I'm just, I'm going to go for it, I'm going to glue this down as well. No going back now, no going back now. Okay, like so. I'm just going to attach some glue on the darker piece. It will dry, oops, hang on. It will dry clear, but hopefully you won't be able to see this. Let's shift that round a little bit. A little tiny bit. Not that much. See how you can just chop and change easily. Okay, I think the glue is ready for giving up on me, so I better place it. There. Do you like that? What do you think? I think that's pretty. Quite pretty. Quite, 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 quite pretty. Now, let me, let me actually put something on the inside. Um, wishing you a blissful future. Now, let's see what else I have here. It's always good to keep a hold of your fussy cut things because... You never know when they'll come in handy. Now, I do have these lovely little embellishments. I may add that on there, actually. That would look gorgeous. But you know what? I'm going to stop there because if I add this, it goes up to a large letter size. I'm not really wanting that. But I think I will add a butterfly in here. Now, I do have two butterflies, so let me see which one will look better. I do like this one that's got more contrast in it. So if I glue, if I glue the two of them together, then we're going to get um, more 3D effect from it. So let me um, just stick it together. Okay, bend up the edge, the little wing a little bit. Like so. I do you like that? And this will fold flat, obviously. For posting purposes. I do like it, I do like it. Right, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to stick it down. Oh God, where will, where will I put it? I'm just going to stick it there. I'm going to stick it there. I like butterflies to the right hand side. Okay, now I'm just going to leave a block on it for a second. And I'm going to grab some basic rhinestone jewels. To finish this project off. I actually have the Petal Pink gems. I've had these for ages. I'm so glad they're still in the catalogue. But you know what? I completely forgot about them. That I had some left. So I am going to add one of the big boys on to the butterfly there. In fact, I'll use one of these ones. These kind of longer ones. Can you see that? Okay. It's uh, quite hard to focus. There we go. Even the little diamond would look nice. Let's try the diamond, actually. Make this um, little butterfly really pretty. Okay. Oh, 
do like that. I'm happy with that. Let's get this um, light up a bit better here. There we go. Um, I'm quite happy with that. So another card showing off our gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, perennial essence DSP. And um, I'm so happy that I got this out to play today because, like I say, I'm just fixing my, my um, lighting there. Um, it's too easy to forget about what we have in our stash. And we really should be using these beautiful papers. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for sticking around for a full 25 minutes if you're still here. Um, and I hope to speak to you all soon. Thanks again. Um, and I appreciate everyone of you. Bye.